Alright, what is going on guys? Five Bulls back again. I've been recording in the wrong uh, format. I was recording like this. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Oops. Uh, so yeah, so we are going to get the resurrections for Orihime, as well as Yoroichi, as well as uh, Kukaku. So this is kind of interesting because I don't, rem honestly, I don't really think there's anything they can do to really salvage these characters. Even if they give Yoroichi uh, Havoc, I don't think she'll have the damage for it. But going into her actual soul trait that she's picking up, she is picking up Sar 16. Uh, excuse me, Sad 16. So not full stamina damage boost, but that's fine. Honestly, like having a little bit of variety is always good, especially against like, especially in stages that are like start with low stamina or you're already taking damage or you're being poisoned or whatever. Like having strong attack recharge, strong attack damage links are always going to be good in my opinion. Going into the attainable skills though, she's picking up long stride. Now she is a Yodawichi, so with Sprinter plus one, she has three flash steps. So she does fly across the battlefield, which is really cool. Damage to weaken enemies plus 20%. <coughs> Honestly, I don't really see this being all that great for her in particular. Like she's not picking up Havoc, which is unfortunate. But her first strong attack is the 40% magnification pushback attack. This is not a bad strong attack with Havoc due to a bigger, a nice decent spread that deals a lot of damage when it's she when you don't have havoc though it becomes a little tricky and significantly harder to just aim right like you can't fire from the hip you need to literally lock down aim down your sight and then make sure that you don't miss vacuum into pushback attack for the second strong attack and then standard full screen third strong attack not a horrible kit to be honest in terms of strong attacks but she is really really outdated and this first strong attack really hurt her when she originally came out when she originally came out, she was like the bonus unit for uh, Epic Raids at the time. And because the 40% mag only hits four times, she was very lackluster in that type of content. Keep in mind, this is before we have potion units, etc. So this is a long time ago. Uh, going into Swimsuit Orihime, she's actually picking up Recover Stamina 16% between quest areas. A bit weird, uh, to be honest, but SAR Recovery, I don't, I don't think it's a bad soul trait, honestly. Going into the attainable skills, this character does pick up full stamina damage boost to 20%. Um, I don't even remember what her kit is. She has a heal on her special move. Uh, going into her actual like strong attack kit, which is very, very, in my opinion, unimpressive. Lunge for strong attack, 575 AoE around yourself. That's not good. And then a standard full screen third strong attack. She does host some of the fattest titties in the game. So if you are a um, like Bleach Brave Soul simp, uh, there you go, but you're better off like going to the BBS site going over here rendering uh, Upscaling it with AI putting it uh, putting a poster in your wall and you'll probably get more um, <laughs> More of a kick out of that than you will actually playing with this character. She does have the insta kill on her special I still find that really weird Really really weird. All right going into Kukuku. Uh Honestly, I haven't even seen what she does because I had to restart my video uh, going into her, she does have a strong attack damage link, and she's picking up full stam. Oh, she's picking up full stam strong attack damage, 20%. Okay, that's actually pretty good, because that's like... I keep in mind that this is only for your strong attacks, so this isn't going to be like Senkaizen, where your special is going to be dealing more damage. This is literally specifically for your strong attacks. So I do I do like that. There's a good amount of damage. And she's picking up strong attack recharge. No havoc, but that's honestly pretty freaking good. Like... That's a this is a big damage increase to her strong attacks and then getting a strong attack recharge skill on top of that What kind of kit do you have? I don't remember it being that great lunge first strong attack um, <laughs> Plan to vortex second strong attack <laughs> And that <laughs> plant vortex is this really plant vortex. Oh my lord, and then a 900 radius aoe around yourself <laughs> It's even worse than I remember but uh yeah i mean like this was literally just a tits banner like you like just floppy titties everywhere bro uh, not that i'm complaining but like goddamn okay and yeah that's pretty much the banner um nothing really too spectacular it is what it is and i'm gonna leave it guys as grind on catch up here stay blessed like comment and subscribe if you're new um honestly i would recommend that if you have i don't know if yorobichi is a chronicle quest bonus character i don't believe that she is but Orihime, I know 100% is. So if you have like two copies of Orihime, keep one resurrected, keep one six star. You don't really need dupes into this character. And at the very least, you'll be able to get like more Chronicle Quest bonus if you're missing that. 